one. Uh, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakah Kadash. Give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Continue to lead us through the Spirit, man, and, and, and show us the right path through the Scriptures, man. And uh, peace and blessings unto the elect. So, brother Yagadal Amar from GMS Houston, and uh, got the brother Quarai Bot. Uh, we just want to, uh, it's pretty much just gonna be a first installment of a series. Uh, I'm gonna do, man, Lord willing, uh, basically, uh, called uh, uh, Prophecy Fulfillments, man. And this is the first installment I wanted to get into is, is you scoffers, man. And I wanted to give a special thanks to you scoffers for making me feel better, man. Because, right. shit, somebody gotta be the two thirds, man. And see, they don't, y'all don't understand it, man. Y'all think that y'all being clever, you witty, and all you doing the most side your whole existence is to be a uh, uh, is 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 to scoff at the men of the Lord, man. To have hatred towards the men of the Lord, which in essence you hate the most high first, man. You how shy and then down. It ain't got nothing to do with us, man. You hate the doctrine, man, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. The truth. Because it stops what you want in this life, man. When this life is supposed to be dead, man. That's why the scriptures tell you, man, to be uh, we supposed to be dead to the world and alive in Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is our only lifeline, man. I don't want to get too far off the point, man. But this is two-thirds of our people don't get it, man. And it's mainly geared toward you uh uh you comment boards, uh shit talkers, man. That sit at home and just wait for the men to put in work so you can talk shit, man. But you're not putting in no work, man. And all you doing, but with, with, like, man, over time, man, I'm, I used to get like frustrated and pissed off at the scoffers, but for what, man? They fulfilling their lot, man. You go ahead, bring out that first, uh, second Peter. Okay. This is uh, second Peter three and three. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. Walking after their own lust. Walking after your own lust, man. Go ahead. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. And, and you don't have to verbally say that, man. You don't have to say where is the promise, uh, 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 the, where is the promises, man. Your actions going to show that you really you don't have no faith in the most high. That you really don't believe in the chariots delivering us. You really don't believe in the kingdom of heaven, man. And how do you do that? By running your fucking mouth, man. Making uh, stupid videos, man. Making whack, corny ass comments on on on, on men of the Lord uh, 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 when they do it, putting out edifying uh, lessons, man. But once again, you just fulfillments of prophecy, man. And it's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna do nothing but continue to prove the tr uh, 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 the point that the men that we doing something right, man. You got some? Uh, bring out that Matthew twelve uh, thirty six. Okay, this is Matthew twelve and thirty six. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak. They shall give account thereof in a day of judgment. Yep, and we coming up on that time, man. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's it's super close, man. It's beyond close, man. We just had uh, uh this this week. You had after uh, uh Trump pulled out of that nuclear deal with Iran, they that that shit they 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 pissed, man. They had a parliament meeting or whatever, and they was burning the American flag, saying death to America, man. So what you think is coming, man? War. While you niggas are sitting back, running your fucking mouth and playing, you condemning yourself, and the Most High is going to judge you for it, man. Like, but continue to do so, man. Like I said, man, thank you for continue to filling up them seats, man. Them two-thirds seats, man. Because we, 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 uh, we constantly say, like the Apostle uh, Gaboy uh, had coined the term, man, to hopefully let, man. But it, but it, it, it helps, it makes you feel a little bit better when you know that you uh, basically getting the same treatment that the uh, the prophets of old got, man, that Yahweh Shai got, man. Go ahead, brother. You start from the top. Okay. This is Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you, 
that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. And y'all think that you just on the comment boards, man, like I said, man, you coming up with these little jokes, you can't spell good. Man, come on, man. If you, at least if you're going to scoff and talk shit, man, form a proper sentence, man. We supposed to be the bums. We supposed to be the uh, uh, the, 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 the the stupid, the most low level brute camp. But you niggas scoffing and can't even put a sentence together, man. See, you sitting up there thinking that you just you're not doing nothing, man. We understand the scripture, so we know that this is part of it, man. That opposition, man. That wicked opposition towards the righteous, man. And you just condemning yourself by a simple comment, man. In your mind, you playing games like this is a joke, man. And the most high is going to require your blood, man. Got a quick one. Come on, go ahead. Come on, this is 2 Peter 2 and 12. But these as natural it's like, but these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed <laughs> speak evil of the things that they understand not. Bring it out again, man. Kind of, this is 2 Peter 2 and 12. But these as natural group beasts made to be taken. What did they say? They was made to be taken. Go ahead. For a <laughs> Made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of the things that they understand not. Speak evil of the things that you understand not, man. Get Amos 5 and 10 right at, uh, uh, on deck. Because that's all you're doing, man. The Most High has sent the angel to blind you. And stop you from getting this understanding. So you, and, and, and you just sitting back. You thinking you, oh, I'm an Israelite. I'm, I'm all on Instagram posting scriptures. I'm on Facebook teaching. But the real men that's putting in the work, you can't understand what they're doing, man. So the most high created you just for that purpose, man. He created you to be a blind beast talking shit about things you don't know nothing about, man. That's why I don't even get I don't get mad no more, man. Yeah, we have you get hyped up in the spirit, man. We shit, we fucking men, full of testosterone, man. It be times you get, but like Apostle Gabor said, man, you got that controlled anger, to where you can exert that into spiritual energy for edification, man, and and, and continue teaching, man. Instead of just getting on camera and rah 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 rah, fuck you, man. Nah, man. The Most High is gonna deal with you, niggas, man. So continue to scoff and talk shit on the comment boards, man, because you lack understanding, man. And it'd be different if you came with some valid points or questions or trying to debate. We'll deal with that. But, man, we don't even waste time with scoffers, man. Like the Apostle Hart said, man, kick the roaches out, man. Pull the spread the raid out and get rid of it, man. Because that's what the Most High going to do to you when the, when the judgment come, man. He going to pull out that raid, but it's going to come in the form of pestilences, man. It's going to come in the form of martial law, uh, concentrated uh, laser beams from the chariots, man. It's going to come from disease, man, starvation, concentration camps, man. The Most High is going to give you on, uh, uh, over to Esau, man. It's going to be more horrible because y'all actually, you got two-thirds out there. Yeah, they might have heard about the truth, and they just continue to keep going with what they doing, man. But you, you uh, specifically targeting uh, the Most High and His Son, man. Go ahead, brother. The Amos. Can I add a little? A little. Oh, so like, yeah. Can can it say says, that. "Uh, and destroy and speak evil the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption." Hey, but they don't, man. It said destroy, man. So y'all don't realize, man, y'all, you, you, you barking up a tree you're not ready to, uh, ready for, man. Right. Y'all didn't think everything is a fucking game, but that's product of, of Babylon, man. Babylon raised these fucking, these little crack babies to be just jokesters all the time, man. Yeah, we got sense of humors, man. We joke, but when it comes to doing the work, that ain't no, nothing to play with, man. And it shows just how wicked, the wicked spirit the most I put in y'all, man. Because why would you be mad at men who's just teaching? And all you could bring up is random ass uh, 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 comments about rape and other bullshit, man. When it's edifying information coming out, man. And you think that's something light? That's why the scripture say he made, he made you just to be destroyed, man. 
You got it out. The Amos. Okay. This is Amos 5 and 10. They hate him that rebuke him in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Yep, and that's what all of it is, man. You really, because when, when we going into these scriptures and breaking the scriptures down, man, uh, uh, and man, you go into uh, certain uh, accounts, and we talk about the wickedness of Israel, you niggas get cut to the heart, man. So now you like a scorned woman, man. You mad. I'm not, especially you niggas that ain't got kicked out of GMS or left. However the hell you not a part of the Great Millstone anymore. Your whole motivation is, to, oh, I want to, like, like I said, a scorned female. Her whole life is devoted to how can I break this man's heart? How can I fuck him up? In, in the spirit, y'all is a bunch of females keying up cars and fucking uh, uh, flattening tires and shit, man. That's what y'all y'all niggas are, man. Mad because you got you the most high to cast your ass out and you don't understand. If now, if I can add, you know, in uh, uh, Isaiah, I think 59, it said, He that departed from evil, making himself a prey. You know, so if we do the things that's according to Yahweh Bashi and Shai, of course the word ain't going to stand. You know, just like Yahweh Shai, he was a prey. The disciples, apostles was prey. So we in that same lot, you know? And, and, and so, you know, of course we will have somebody coming up against us that's on the right. Yeah. You know, we should be worried if nobody had, you know, said nothing to us, you know? And that's, and that too, you scoffers, because it's, it's niggas amongst the body that's, that got to get cast out, man. These scoffers are stumbling blocks onto weak niggas that ain't got no faith, man. Because y'all can't handle the heat, man. You had a nigga, uh, one, of the, one of the niggas that fell out of this camp, man. Out of the Houston camp. Uh, uh, he was bugging out when, once he saw uh, uh, one of the Avengers videos about uh, one of the apostles and couldn't get over the shit, man. Just wouldn't shut the fuck up, man. I just saw this video and this fucking with me. And I'm like, shit, immediately, I'm like, shit, man. You, you, that ain't no good sign, man. If you let a little fucking video fuck with your faith, that means you don't have no faith, man. So the most I set everything up uh, 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 as a perfect equation, man. The scoffers, you have your purpose, man. You calling out to your fellow two-thirds that's trying to act like they're in the truth, man. On top of just fulfilling prophecy as being scoffers and shit talkers against the most high and his son, man. Hating the fact that you got men who's devoted their life to serving the Heavenly Father, man, but you can't understand it because you still caught up in the world. You still just a carnal nigga, man. Go ahead, Ike. This is Sirach, uh 33 and 14. Good is set against evil and life against death. Mm -hmm. So it's the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. That's balance, man. The Most High said everything perfect balance, man. Everybody not gonna be right. Somebody gotta be wicked, niggas. Somebody gotta be emotional. You niggas ain't got over the fact that your daddy didn't love you. <laughs> Fucking your mom and had eight stepdads in your life. And you just can't get over it, man. You little badass kids, man. But the most high set it up that way, man. You got the righteous and the unrighteous, man. Good and evil, man. Every movie gotta have <laughs> both sides, man. You ever seen a movie and it's just everybody that was just good in the movie? Wasn't no right. evil, nothing, man. That's a boring-ass movie. That's the point of the movie. You're going to be sitting there like, God, man, turn this shit off, man. I need some action. I need some, uh, a, a whole, I need a, what's they got the whole plot of the movie, which you had the beginning. With, uh, the climax. Yeah, the climax. And then it was uh, the conflict. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got the conflict. Then the climax. Right. However, whatever mm -hmm. the shit is, man. I'm not into to right, Hollywood right. like that. I don't know. <laughs> But I know you gotta have that conflict, man. So right. when you niggas are created for that conflict, man, and that's what that's what get everything exciting, man. This is the, if it, you get hyped up, man. Mm -hmm. I don't want females on my comment board, uh, uh, screaming, "Oh, good, good job, brother, good, good, good man." That shit that's gonna make me feel uncomfortable. All you niggas, man, sitting up there, be sitting there uh, like that nigga uh, Yakanai up north. The, uh, why he ain't get a spot in the new Avengers movie, bro? I don't know. I don't know. I... Damn, y'all cannot name call you for the new Avengers. <laughs> I don't know. I... <laughs> he might be looking for Wakanda, man. But uh, that nigga had on doing the radio, uh, his bullshit ass radio show, 
and had a fucking one of a demon on there, man. I'm not gonna even say a woman, it's a demon, man. One Gina took Pino. over your show. Nah, nah. <laughs> Just took over your show, man. The day that you so hell bent against the uh, the prophets that you <laughs> let a fucking woman take over and start pulling precepts and teaching. Hey, man, the Most High is done with you, man. Like, he didn't just toss you <clears> on. You ain't even making it in the dumpster, man. You sitting on the side and shit, man. You don't even get picked up, man. That's how low you niggas are, man. You'll, you, you'll side with a, with a demon of a fucking female just to be an asshole to the men of the Lord, man. And it's not stopping nothing, man. Because this is the spirit of the Most High dweller, man. It ain't, shit, it ain't got shit to do with us, man. The most high is not his 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 understanding is not gonna stop from going out, man. Why do you think you got camps popping up everywhere, man? Your scoffing ain't doing shit but bringing more attention to the prophets, man. In other words, helping you niggas is really helping push the truth, man. Hey, as it's a lot. As scripture say, you can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. Huh. You know, you might have somebody uh uh trying to figure out who to follow, and you keep talking about GMS, GMS. And then they go check out GMS videos, watch the yeah. apostles, watch elders, watch brothers, and be like, damn, this is what it is. Like G-Man. Right. He fucking was bugging out. He said, he's my fucking family, man. They're, they're, they're like, shit, they're, they're, they're making sense. Right, right. You know, like the, uh, there's a comment on R ITR, a comment boy, and uh, uh, somebody was like, uh, pretty much, why every single video y'all make is about GMS. You, you are going to a topic where all of a sudden you say, but in some groups, in some people, yeah, some groups, some groups that say this and this, and then the dudes like, uh, I don't know, if dude or woman, but they was like, you know, why your every single video y'all make is about these men? Just teach the word, you know. So y'all going, y'all, hey, hey uh, what is it, X Five? Uh, let these men alone, you know. Hey, even other scoffers getting tired. Like, man, right. come on, I need something else, man. Come on, man. Like you not, man. The, the, the scriptures, man. What did Yahweh Shai say, man? If you love me, feed my sheep, man. You don't love the Most High nor His Son, man. If your whole existence is is, is 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 scoffing, man, and it's evident, man. When you got other people, you got people hitting you up, like, man, okay, I'm following you, I'm looking for the truth, but you're not giving me nothing to eat, man. I'm right. starving over here, man. Lord willing, man. Hey, from the apostles on down, man. Hey, it, I'm not gonna say. Oh, well, I am gonna say, Lord willing, but. The point I'm making is the elect is going to teach, man. Right. The elect is going to teach, man. When I say Lord willing, is Lord willing. We continue to uh, uh, down that path, man, of feeding the most high uh, and Yahweh Shai sheep, man. Because that's all we were set up to do, man. We was not supposed to get this truth just to continue to be a nigga, man. Not get this truth just to get a certain amount of understanding. And then when you see men with, uh, with more understanding than you, you get pissed off. Because it, it's not for you, man. Your role was just to be a scoffing shit talker, man. Mm -hmm. You can still eat zebra cakes and shit and have fun, man. Star crunch. Yeah, man. Yeah, the star. <laughs> don't forget the star crunches, man. Niggas eat marshmallow pies with the pork uh, uh, marshmallows. <laughs> just be a nigga, man. Just, just go all out, man. You're not doing the work, man. If I can add you, how much I said it himself? I'd rather you be cold or hot. Don't be lukewarm. If you're yeah. going to be cold, then go all out and being cold. Go all out and scoffing. If you're going to be hot, then be on fire. Yeah. Don't waste your time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're going to scoff, go hard. Because that's your lot. Ev yeah. Evidently, that's your lot. So go hard in your lot, you know? And you're not in the truth, man. You scoffers are not in the truth, man. I don't give a damn how many scriptures you post up on Facebook. You're not in the truth, man. Just because you at work running your fucking mouth, you got fringes on. You niggas are on a very low level, man, and that's why the mo that's what the most high wanted you, so you wouldn't get on. You and I don't know a, a, a level to understand what you're doing, man. Okay. When you men, you I'm not gonna say men because you niggas is little kids, man. When you disrespect the men that the most high set up, man, hey, it's a heavy toll for that, man. Because you don't know who you, you disrespecting members of the elect, man. Just being carnal, man. It could be a very edifying, beautiful lesson coming out and a fucking roach pop up talking about your fucking uh, beard or something, man. 
talking about how your garment look, talking about your house, instead of focusing on, damn, man, you know what, to say, listen, is shit, pretty damn good, man. Like, um, the Apostle Hoy uh, did the video response to the Childish uh, Gambino video, and that nigga, uh, the big moose head nigga from, uh, fucking, uh, the ape, great bay of great ape nigga up there, man. I forgot what uh, the fuck. man, uh, uh, yeah, Yasser Alaman walking. That nigga, yeah, yeah, that nigga. That nigga's stupid. Yeah, man, but he he on the comment board. He basically said uh, something along the lines of, I, "I don't I don't know why, but I'm actually interested to see what you uh, got to say about this uh, music video." You know why? Because you know who the men of the Lord are, man. You scoffers know who the men of the Lord are, man, and you know this is the, as much as I hate these men to get understanding on things. This is where I gotta go, man. Elsewise, you niggas would be all over uh, Nate comment board, man. Right. You niggas would be on General Yohanna comments, uh, comment board, man. All the wicked shit and off doctrines that's being pushed, and you niggas is targeting GMS. Why? Because you know who the men of the Lord are, man. And the demons on you know who the men of the Lord are. Okay, cool. Go ahead. This is Job 12, you know, what the brother going into. This is Job uh, 12 and 4. He said, I am as one mocked of his neighbor... Who calleth upon the most high. So Job said he, he mocked up his neighbor as he calling upon the most high. He a man that called upon the most high, he being mocked. He says, and he answered him. So the most high answered him, answered him. He says, uh, I am as one mocked of his neighbor who calleth upon the most high, and he answered him. The just upright man is laughed to scorn. So Job was a man <laughs> who calling upon Yahweh, you know, Bashim Yahushua, Bashim Rokokadash. And he getting, he getting mocked and scorned, laughed and scorned, and the most high hearing him. And he said, he hearing me, and I'm calling upon you, but I'm getting laughed at. That's how you know who the men of the Lord are. It'll be a problem if, it, it'll be a problem if you weren't getting no, you know what I'm saying, getting a, a, a scorned at, laughed at, yeah. you know, taunted, so to speak. It's already been covered, man. Right. The most high already let us know this is what you, if you, that's part of counting the cost as well, man. Knowing that you're going to have scoffers that's going to come against you because you're uh, teaching the truth. And they getting cut by it, man. They getting tormented by the scriptures, man. And, you, and the understanding that you bring it out, man. And then you go in the breakdowns, and they just can't get it. They, they, they. Like I said, they turn. That's when that bitch spirit come out. I gotta get them. I gotta get them. Sitting up there, you on the live stream, sitting there just salivating, trying to think of some corny ass comment to type up, man. Why you are doing that? Because you're fulfilling a prophecy, man. We get that uh, Isaiah 30. Kind of. Start at 8. Kind of. This is Isaiah 30 and 8. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people. Yep. Right there is the first part I wanted, man. A rebellious people, man. That's Israel to the, to the T, man. No matter, man, if you're doing anything upright, the, uh, the wicked is going to fucking rebel, man. Israel is always about rebellion, man. And the most I set it up that way, man. Elsewise, all the prophecy wouldn't, a lot of prophecy wouldn't be able to be fulfilled if Israel wasn't as wicked as they were, man. If we didn't get cast off as a nation, man, uh, 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 Yahweh Shah wouldn't have had no purpose, man. Right. And the most I set it up that way, man. But now you got the middle of the Lord, and I'm not going to say now, Every, every uh, all throughout uh, the, the scriptures, man, up until this present time, man, you know, at the men of the Lord, that the Most High set up, whether it been in the form of judges, prophets, man, the apostles, disciples, man, that the Most High set up to 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 basically tell Israel you fucking up and you're gonna be judged, man. And what did Israel continue to do? Uh, they rebel, man. Go ahead, finish that, brother. Is and, Isaiah, uh, we get done with that, jump to that Jeremiah 18. Come. This is Isaiah 30 and 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh. Yep, and they don't want to hear it, man. They don't want to have nothing to do with this, man. That's why the nigga be here, they'll hate to get a fall out of the great millstone over the edge up, man. Something that, that minute, man. But that's just that's just your niche, man. Cause that you basically Jake the uh, that that's little these niggas 
that done been cast out the body, man, you was always looking for that way out, man. Right. You was just looking for that little gap, man. Okay, how can I get out of this? Because this is too much for me, man. This is too much discipline. This is too much hell I'm catching. I can't deal with this shit, man. So you gonna find them demons gonna, gonna have something that you latch on to that's gonna pull you out of the truth eventually, man. That's why we gotta stay humble in this thing and not like we just sitting but kick back like we, we got an RSVP on the chariot, man. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 30 and 10. It says, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not yep. unto... Don't just stop right there real quick, Papa Bashar, man. That's the whole point of what y'all doing, man. Y'all do not want to see prophecy be fulfilled, man. You do not want America to be destroyed, man. You don't want to see the uh, martial law. You don't want it, y'all. Because, oh, man, you know, when you first, the first thing you're going to, majority of brothers hear about is the concentration camps, martial law, and you flipping out, damn, all this shit about to pop off. Then the most I lead you to the scriptures, you're like, okay, damn, okay, this is my only way out, man. So Jake hear that and all oh, they jump into it. It's good. It sounds good. Okay, we got the kingdom. Oh, we're gonna be delivered by the chariots. And then that that's when the, when that bitterness set in. And you like, man, I can't take this shit, man. Right. So you fall out, and now you see men continuing on to uh push the word the word, man, and, and testimony of Yahweh Shah, which is prophecy, and you like, man, I don't wanna hear that shit. I don't believe it no more. Ain't no ain't no chariots about to come uh, get us, man. America is it, man. That's the mindset of a nigga, man. I got to make the best out of Babylon, man. So they come after the men that's speaking on this place being destroyed, man. Because you really worship Esau, man. And his kingdom, man. And you can see no other way, man. Hey, man. Hey, Lord willing, the most I keep the spirit on me. I'd, I'd rather die than stay in this fucking place forever, man. Hey, I want the kingdom, bro. Okay. Isaiah 30 and 10 would say to the seers, see not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Yeah, they don't want to hear what's right, man, because it cuts your wicked soul. Go ahead. Speak unto us smooth things. Yeah, lie to us, man. Tell us that the mark of the beast is not the chip, man. Tell us that uh, America is not Babylon, is that's uh, meant to be destroyed, man. Don't tell us about Jacob's trouble. Yeah, we don't want to hear about Jacob's trouble. Let's talk about fringes and burgers. Right. Uh, frankincense and murder. Yeah, let's, let's talk. <laughs> let's make rap videos. Let's have a uh, count of uh, uh, fellowship with our wives smiling it and other brothers' faces and shit. Auctions at the uh, Passover. Yeah, auction, uh, auctioning off uh, uh, kidnapped women. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you niggas got a lot to pay for, man. man. All the wickedness that's being done, and then when men speak righteous things, you, 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 oh, please stop. You're going to be destroyed, man. If I, I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, the scriptures tell us to, to, to speak to our people to get the blood off what? Our hands, our right? Hands. Man, what y'all niggas doing? You know, all you different camps, all you different people teaching and thank y'all teaching the doctrine, but y'all not. Y'all actually adding blood to y'all hands. Yeah. You know, you're deceiving the people. You're deceiving our people, which, you know, it was already set up. But it was set up for you to just add, you adding blood, more blood to your hands, yeah, like man. Like the scriptures say, they add sin unto sin, man. Man, hey. You niggas are sitting there just washing your hands with blood. Blood, that's what it is. Damn. There's some more in there. Okay, it says, speak unto a smooth things, prophesy deceits. Prophesy deceits, man. That's why y'all don't go scoff at these other camps, man. Because you know what they teaching is not true, so you're not worried about it, man. You, you, you want to stop... The, uh, you want you don't want the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah to be spoke, man. You don't want prophecy to be fulfilled, man. That's why you guys, you, cause you love it here, man. Right. You love your GMO foods, man. You love all your high fructose corn syrup snacks, man. You niggas pass up on the kingdom for fucking uh, sour patch candy, man. You love oppression. No oh, shit, I'm dead. That uh, um, Jeremiah eighteen eighteen. Come, come. This is Jeremiah 18 and 18. Then said they, come and let us devise devices against Jeremiah. For the law shall not perish. Hey, was, was Jeremiah a wicked man? Was Jeremiah a wicked man? No. So what type of men would want to devise uh, 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 devices, man, or, or come up with, with ways 
to to stop. Well, I'm gonna let the scripture finish uh, finish the scripture first, man. But but Jeremiah, being this is the prophet Jeremiah, you think everybody should love him, right? Right. He's a prophet of the Most High. The Most High set him up, man. Right? No. So that's why I say, man, it, we we get comfort through you niggas scoffing, man. We get comfort through the fact that that damn near everybody hate Greg Millstone, man. Go ahead. Come. It says Jeremiah eighteen and eighteen. They said, "Come and let us devise devices against Jeremiah, for the law shall not perish from the priest, nor a counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come and let us smite him with the tongue." Let him, let us smite him with the tongue, man. And that's all you motherfuckers do, man. Is try to smite the men of the Lord with the tongue. Why? Because we, through the Spirit, man. We cutting your ass up. You getting rebuked. You getting tormented in the spirit, man. So you like, man, we got to stop these men. We got to get them off of YouTube, man. We got to demonize them, man. We got to make everybody think they rapists and child molesters, man. All this madness, man. Because you oppose righteousness, man. So they like, continue to do. If the prophet Jeremiah went through it, I feel good, man. Right. I feel good, man. Uh, come it says, uh, come and let us smite him with the tongue and let us not give heed to any of his words. <laughs> to any of his words. And we all we doing is speaking the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. So it's not us, man. When we say, uh, do so, when we speaking through the spirit and we telling you to keep the law, to go out and do the work, that's the commandments from the heavenly father, man. That ain't got nothing to do with us. We ain't right to do this. This is the most highest word, man. Um, grab uh, Proverbs 29, man. We're going to wrap it up on that. Okay. 29 and 27, man. Okay. Because that's all you guys are, man. You, you were set up and, uh, to balance everything out, man. We couldn't. It couldn't just be all righteous men. You got to have the wicked, man. Can I pull this real quick? Go ahead. Okay. And this is Sirach 30, 33 and 15. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. That's it. You know, it's balanced. So y'all niggas need it to scoff. Yeah. And like how I said, man, blessed are ye when men shall hate you, man. So like the brother started off the video with, hey, y'all, hey, these scoffers make you make us feel better. Because he, hey, they, they, y'all tell us we doing the right thing, man. Because y'all was shy. Our king told us it was going to happen before it happened. You know? Go ahead. Come on, this is Proverbs 29 and 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just. Yep, so just starting off top, man. You're an abomination to the righteous, man. So the same energy and hatred that you have towards the men of the Lord, man, we have it uh, uh, towards you, well, more so, man. Because, hey, man, I, I want to see our heads chopped off, man. Mm -hmm. I want, I, I would, man, I'm Lord willing, man, if I get spiritual powers, I want to just look at you and your fucking head explode, man. This type of shit we meditate on. Like you niggas sitting up there being carnal, man. We we believe in spiritual powers, man. Okay. Go ahead. Proverbs 29, 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. So that's that's it. The scriptures just let you know, man. The ones that's upright and righteous, man, are abominable in the eyes of, of the wicked are abomin of, abominable, man. So that's the balance of everything, man. You niggas, like the brother just said, but you niggas are needed, man. Scoffers are needed. Scoffers will prophesy, man. We brought it out in the second Peter, man. You guys are just doing what you was created to do, man. And the most high got to, uh, once he's done using you, he's going to discard of you, man. And when he's discard of you, it's going to be with your life, man. Right. So continue to do what you're doing, man. And Lord willing, we're going to continue to push this word, man. So you have something to do. Because if once the minute of the YouTube is over, you niggas' life is done. You ain't going to have nothing to do, man. You got to go outside. You know, you got that little kid that's sitting in the house playing fucking video games all day. And all of a sudden, they unplug the TV. <laughs> you got to go outside. I don't want to go outside and play. It's too hot. Hey, you, you niggas' comfort is going to be over real soon, man. Real soon. Because you got this false understanding or belief that because you come up against a uh, great millstone or uh, a certain, or you're not out on the highways and byways, 
that Esau not gonna target you, man. You niggas and we all got exes on our back, man. The moment you got on social media and said you was an Israelite, you became a target, man. Right. The Esau is gonna come after us all, man. But guess what, man? Lord willing, we're gonna continue to have the protection of the most high over us, man. And he allow us to endure to the end. But you niggas is gonna be destroyed, man. So we don't have to get frustrated and cuss you out and go crazy. You niggas is just doing what you gotta do, man. And you doing a good job of being a nigga, man. Continue on, man. It's help. Hey, you know I say iron sharp and iron. <laughs> Scarf is sharp and iron too, cause y'all keep us going, keep us studying, just to, you know what I'm saying, to to pretty, really put you on a check, man. But in a day we know iron sharp and iron for a greater cause, which is the kingdom and salvation. Y'all scoffers pretty much sharpening us up, and we we getting you know better laws laws will, but y'all just hey break to y'all own destruction, man. That's you know. Yeah, I just say that's just straight like with that scripture. It's just straight, man. That's just for us, man. That's just for us, the righteous man. Because the way we sharpen each other is by how we basically feed each other, man. Okay. When we when we break bread through the spirit, man. Giving a brother a quiz out of nowhere, just get getting out, hey brother. I, Man, let's let's get in these scriptures, man. Let's study do this and this and that, man. You scoffers not y'all not a part of that equation, man. You niggas is just set to talk shit and be destroyed, man. While the brothers of, of, of the no that's really doing the work, man, or continue to, to, to be part of that brotherhood and that body that you despise so much, man. Hey, with that, man, we're going to end this, man. Lord willing, this lesson was uh, edifying to any brothers, man, and to you scoffers. Hey, hey, to Babylon with you, man. Hey, with that, man, once again, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders once again. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.